you have an iOS device and you upgraded to 16 already, and you're like, I don't want to buy a webcam, I got too many gadgets ready, which is like me, the continuity camera is pretty much a game changer. Check it out. So you can turn your iOS device, your phone, and your MacBook into this. So as you can see, huge difference in clarity. Just the optics of it are so much better. You would have to agree with me. Honestly, look, look, I mean, look at it. Hey everyone, thank you for checking out the channel right now. This is Gil Regara again. And just wanted to check in with you today because I found out something really crazy. I did upgrade it today to Ventura, which is pretty cool because I discovered it has, you can use it with a continuity um, camera now. Basically meaning I can use my iPhone as my webcam. Great thing is about vlogging, it pretty much saved me time and just the effort of trying to start things over because I have it set up right here for you guys and I have it on a microphone which is my uh, mobile mic right now so it pretty much took this little setup with the technology to pretty much <laughs> eradicate this little thing right here there's not really a little thing it's still pretty big but literally eradicate the having this now help grow the channel by hitting that like button thank you I really appreciate it I'm not gonna say it has the same quality as this right here but nonetheless I mean you just can't beat it honestly I mean you just, you just can't beat it now this is a daytime obviously lighting's there right so the background is there I'm looking at it right now but this is super clean I'm gonna switch over to the regular MacBook Pro camera and show you the difference of this is the HD camera and as you can see huge difference huge difference on the lighting clarity this huge difference is really it's like night and day honestly for me at this point right now you have no excuse if you have an iPhone so you can pretty much switch this up into this I'm not gonna go heavy into the actual technology of it but just what it looks like aesthetically optically and what I can do with it and maybe what you can do with it if you were to utilize it with this technology the continuity camera I guess set up where with the upgrade onto the phone it's pretty cool honestly because it really saved me a lot of time with uh, playing around with cameras because Honestly, to compare to this, I don't, you know, this has that depth of field. I got to find out on, because I'm recording, I'm recording this through Photo Booth. I got to see if the depth of field can be had or mimicked. But this right here gives it, right? Like this, this actually right here gives it, right? So, but it's not easy lugging this thing around every single time I'm vlogging and things like that. Now, obviously, this is going to be used for, like, in, in a home setting. But the great thing is it gives me unlimited recording time right so basically the, the the worst part of having this is that most dslrs will overheat right they'll overheat and battery life this one right here i can plug it right in there directly and i'm good to go so no issues no worries i was contemplating whether to get like a, a webcam a 4k webcam because i needed something with unlimited recording right I'm gonna be at home most of the time when I, when I am around around this time. I need like unlimited recording. So the problem is I don't have it with this, right? I don't have it with this and I didn't want to spend money on a webcam. So just by happenstance, happenstance, just by happenstance, I think the channel MK MKBHD literally came up with like um, a video talking about the continuity camera or the continuity, uh, I guess, setup for the iOS phones and stuff like or for the for the Apple for the iPhones and working together with Ventura. So I'm like, you know what, let me try this out because this will save me a good amount of money. Especially here in the Philippines, really quality stuff costs money. So save me a lot of time. So now I'm putting it all together. I'm trying it out now. I've been recording for a total of like five or five or six minutes. Now the good thing is I do know I can put a charger on here on even on my little microphone and I'm good to go. I should be good to go. So literally opens up my world as to uh, me getting into podcasting because th this right here has two microphones so me having a con casual conversation in this setting might be it now I do have to find a way to get it more like a bigger like you know times five like a more wider frame wider shot I do want to figure that out but nonetheless like I'm pretty amazed at what's happening right now with the with the upgrading to Ventura and the continuity um, set up here so basically there's a lot there's a lot of videos that you can look into how you know how to set it up and things like that I'll, I'll put the links down below as to the videos that I reference 
but basically when I once you upgrade to Ventura it's gonna naturally like recognize each other if you put on photo booth that I put it on right now but you can do a lot of things you can put on Google zoom I think FaceTime as well so a lot of things can happen as well but nonetheless just wanted to jump on here and give you my quick little feedback on this particular feature and why for you vloggers content creators out there I might change the game as to having a lighter setup having a more easier setup get up and go type setup because technically if you have battery you have a power bank you can take this outside you can do podcasting outside now obviously maybe some of you don't want to bring your laptop understandable but think about this do you really want to be hanging this is like at least five pounds dude i mean do you really want to be like carrying this all the time you know what i'm saying now although it does look cool case and ice that is freaking strong as hell and i just can't hold it for a long period of time and you gotta lug this around at least with this right now if i am gonna do podcasting and and all those things are, are a more longer form video this is a game changer this right here i've rec- i've done it where 4k maybe 15 minutes max right 15 minutes max maybe 20 minutes max before it starts overheating um 1080p maybe 30 40 minutes max i've used this as a webcam as well but it still overheats unfortunately right there's been hacks that you can do where you can put heat sinks back here and all that but i don't think it's going to really work honestly i i i'm just not that confident in it where you have to add more onto it not you know i'm getting to the point where that setup might be a bit gaudy so i'm trying to look for a lighter setup now at the same i mean quality is there i mean when it is working fantastic amazing when it is working and when i'm carrying it around you know makes you feel like a vlogger honestly you know i'll be honest with you audio's there light is there problem is it gets a bit too heavy very cumbersome versus what i have here now keep in mind this is a house setup right unless you want to really take it outside your laptop and everything this is a house setup so and i, and I do videos in the house with this camera as well as um before just my camera my, my um my iphone as well but this kind of steps it up a little bit gives you a little bit more versatility as to what you're doing so hopefully you like that video give it a thumbs up i really appreciate it the channel's growing a lot kind of comment down below three things that you can use the continuity feature on would love to hear because i want to you know get some ideas from you as well take care god bless goodbye